is October 5th, 2019, 9.45 p.m. It's actually a.m. And I'm uh, going to do an update video in regards to some earthquake activity occurring out here in California, right smack dab on the San Andreas Fault System near San Francisco, and also some earthquake activity occurring in the New Madrid Fault System over the last few days. Um, nothing major out there. We're just going to take a look at some... Uh, some activity that uh, is stirring up there. Latest earthquake right now shows to be a 4.9 down there just off the coast of uh, um, Mexico down there. So kind of a not a large quake but uh, definitely some activity occurring today out here along the west coast and also uh, well way further south of us. Uh, I do want to take a look at the most recent uh, map here from the USGS here. Let me back out just a tad bit so I can give you guys a perspective of where I'm zoomed into. Um, this map right here is from the USGS. Seven days, last seven days, all magnitudes. So, I don't like that grayscale, so I'm going to think I'm going to switch it back over here to the terrain view and we can get uh, a little bit clearer idea of what's going on and where we're at over here around the Midwest region, uh, Missouri, Arkansas, uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, Illinois, all this little tri-state area, maybe more than tri-state, huh? Uh, but either way, uh, a lot of these states out here have something in common, and that's called the New Madrid Fault System, which uh, only 14 earthquakes, right? But it's over the last seven days. These are not super big, but they are at various, various depths below the surface. Um, biggest earthquake right now looks to be the 2.7 back on um, September 30th. So not quite a week away or a week uh, in the past. Uh, but since then, some, uh, some minor activity. These are all kind of small quakes. Uh, looks like a couple, one, uh, quite a few ones in there. Another 2.3 did follow that 2.7 that same day. Actually, it looks like there may have been a couple uh 2.7s in there one occurring on the 30th and then also a little bit later during the day uh, another 2.7 and then followed up by that 2.3 and then of course uh, more recently over the past couple days uh, looks like the most recent one was a 1.8 uh, which occurred on the 4th uh, yesterday so yeah interesting activity um not super confined to one area either. It's kind of marking out the um, the seismic zone that looks like the New Madrid. And I'll show you that here real quick with the hazard. Um, where am I at here? There we go. Froze up on me a second. I had a had my computer do an update video or an update uh, on my computer last night while I was sleeping so it shut the stream down and also uh, did some weird stuff to the computer I had to redo a whole bunch of settings this morning on the OBS which is my broadcasting software so uh, still trying to work out the bugs but either way I always try to get the most uh, recent updates on the computer and just it's beneficial I think everyone should definitely do that uh, for security so here's the uh, Hasmic zone from the USGS, the dark red indicating the most uh, severe region um, for shaking and hazards along this new Madrid fault system. And hold on a second here folks. And that extends, like I said, up into uh, up into parts of Missouri and uh, some other states close to Tennessee and all that area right around Memphis as well um, in a bad area for some, um, some future activity I'm not saying this is going to happen anytime soon but um, whenever we see earthquake activity along along a major fault or a major plate boundary or uh, around any super volcano or any type of uh, geological area that has shown major quakes in the past recent or you know, a long time ago, uh, I like to give a, uh, a notification on that, and that's what we're seeing out here along the New Madrid fault system. And um, 
this right here, this map shows the hazard area, and these are kind of, you can see the quakes kind of following a, a pathway of that redness area, right? So that would be the main New Madrid fault system. You can't really see it on the surface. These faults are uh, uh, well below the surface, unlike here in California. Um, you know, you can obviously see the San Andreas fault system, the plate boundary between the Pacific and the North American plate, uh, very visible from the air. And uh, a lot of our faults out here are pretty shallow. I mean, they're, they're visible from the air and above the ground, uh, but a lot of these other ones, you don't have to dig too far down to, uh, to see, see them as well. This uh, system right here, the New Madrid, sits a lot lower uh, below the surface here. And uh, it's going to bring up a little bit of information on that uh, on the New Madrid fault system here, which is very capable of producing uh, some significant earthquakes here. As you can see, uh, this little article right here from uh, from Wikipedia uh, in in regards <coughs> in regards to the uh, um, the fault system out there. Just trying to find something here on my side. I'm make sure I'm going to be reading the same thing that you guys are going to see. Um, yeah. So back in 18, uh, 1811, 1812 region there. So it's been well, well over 200 years, right, since they've had that activity. Uh, there was a couple, uh, a sequence of earthquakes actually that occurred out there. Um, magnitude roughly around 7.5 to 7.9 on December 16th, 1811. Um, that was followed up quickly by a 7.4 aftershock on the same day. So this whole area out here in the New Madrid Fault Zone, you know, Missouri, um, Arkansas, Kentucky, Illinois, Tennessee region, these five states out here and, and a little bit further south to have a pretty good chance of uh, well filling a pretty big one uh, in the future uh, these quakes were strongly felt over roughly a hundred and thirty thousand square miles um, oh kilometers my bad fifty thousand square miles and moderately across nearly three million Kilometers, which is 1 million square miles um, so it was definitely felt uh, by the American tribes that were out there I'm just kind of reading through this a little bit here pinpointing some stuff um, so yeah we had a, a December 16th 1811 uh, M7.5 to M7.9 and then a 7.4 same day and it looks like a month or two down the road is when they had another sequence of quakes uh, ranging from a 7.3 to 7.6 or uh, yet during that day and also February 7th 1812 uh, there was a 7.5 to an 8.0 within that same region right around the uh, New Madrid uh, Missouri area um, so yeah definitely some uh, historic earthquakes back there And then once again, this the Wikipedia, Wikipedia article shows the uh, <clears throat> shows the hazard out there. You know, it's just it's kind of scary. A lot of folks out there think they're safe from earthquakes if they don't live in California, but uh, it's definitely an area out there that can see some big ones. Uh, looks like the last strong earthquake within the New Madrid fault system occurred near Charleston, Missouri, on October 31st, 1895. So some years later still over about uh over a hundred years obviously um in the past um so that one occurred yeah october 31st 1895 a 6.7 magnitude earthquake some experts are saying the likelihood of an earthquake on the new madrid of a 6.0 or greater is around 40 to 50 percent um So yeah, the, the professionals out there 
stating that uh, just like I mentioned there about the fault systems not being not being at the surface uh, it makes it difficult for them to understand and study uh, when they're in the ground like that, or below the surface, I should say. So, yeah, well, um, I'm going to keep an eye on it. I may pull up a, uh, a data station in this area. Uh, to monitor the activity and uh, keep an eye on uh, the data stations out there themselves so yeah I was just kind of looking here a little bit there's the eyewitness accounts all this stuff down here But yeah, check it out if you get a chance. Uh, if you want to read an interesting article on the 1811-1812 earthquakes, uh, I would definitely check it out. There's quite a few videos out there um, as well in regards to uh, um, eyewitness, eyewitness accounts and stuff like that. Pretty interesting here. Um, another, another thing I wanted to look at here and show you guys is the activity occurring out there in the Bay Area of Northern California. See if I can find that once again. So, for that to happen, I need to redo this here and set up a different. Uh, different map. Actually, we can just take a little road trip across the country on the USGS map. And of course, Oklahoma. Obviously, seeing some earthquake activity out there as well. And then uh, trying to get over here to California. Let's see, this thing is just kind of being a little strange on me today. course down there in the Ridgecrest area uh, still quite a bit of uh, activity occurring following those uh, July 4th and July 5th earthquakes down there uh, from earlier this year of course that aftershock activity will continue well into next year uh, there's no doubt about that um, San Andreas fault system there like I said a little bit of activity occurring along the creeping section down there near Soledad uh, just east of Soledad Kind of down there near uh, Hollister as well. This thing is not wanting to cooperate today, let me tell you. Anyway, the activity in question that I'm talking about here in the Bay Area is right up here. Right along the, um, the uh, San Andreas Fault System, or just right off of it, I should say. Looking a little bit closer now, it looks like... Uh, it's not directly on top of any of these, you know, these uh, markings that the USGS has up here as far as like the fault systems go. But uh, the strong red line right here that runs from north to south is the San Andreas fault system that runs through uh, or just west of San Francisco down into the South Bay as well. You can see the little earthquakes over here just to the southwest of San Francisco. The 1906 earthquake took place roughly about oh man, I'm thinking maybe maybe about I look at my scale here 10-15 miles to the north right on the San Andreas fault system there. But this earthquake activity that just occurred this morning uh, 
Uh, like I said, it looks like it occurred just off of the just off of the San Andreas fault system. I'm trying to see what this other line over here to the west is. Um, some type of uh, San Gregorio fault. I haven't. I don't even think I've heard of that. Interesting. So yeah, definitely within the vicinity of the San Andreas Fault. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on this uh, San Gregorio Fault system. See what that's all about here. But uh, either way, 3.5. Uh, looks like that was followed up by a couple ones there. 1 1.9, two 1.9s actually being picked up following that... Uh, 3.5 this morning here. So yeah, anyway folks, um, I got a little bit of work to do on the computer here um, at the uh, train museum out here that I have from the live, what's well, live from the um, Tehachapi train museum normally has audio. So right now I'm trying to figure out why I'm not getting any type of audio. I can hear it on my side, um, but uh, it's not transmitting through the uh, through the broadcasting software. So I'm going to figure that out and get that fixed here pretty soon. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to take a spin around the globe and see what's going on out here as well. Pretty active day. Um, let's see, this drop is just a little bit more. That's kind of like 36 hours. So we're looking at. Uh, last 24 hours of earthquake activity right there uh, looks like some more deep earthquake activity in Fiji there 4.7 uh, that's going to be this quake right here that's highlighted uh, nothing major to report you know just those couple interesting areas there along the New Madrid and San Francisco Bay Area this morning that kind of caught my attention uh, requiring an update. Other than that, earthquake activity appears to be normal uh, levels right now around the globe. Nothing strange or uh, unusual. Of course, down here, uh, this earthquake activity, uh, this buildup of earthquake activity is all aftershock activity. Can't remember the multi or that magnitude of quake from when was it last week or possibly two weeks ago now near the uh, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico area all in that area they had uh, uh, all this activity is just aftershock activity following that quake that happened I think it was a 6.1 that occurred here I'm thinking about two weeks ago I don't know I'm kind of messed up on my time frame right now but that's uh, that's what this swarming is all about uh, just aftershock activity in that area um, but yeah, we'll keep an eye on this uh, region down here off the Mexico area, Mexico coast with the 4.9 being the most recent quake right now. Um, so yeah, anyway, live stream is up and running. Uh, I'm going to work on the computer for a little bit, so I'll be off and on here throughout the day. So take care everyone and uh, play it safe out there.